Hello and welcome to Jobbing. Today I'm your host for the day, Remna Murakuin. This is Active. Today we'll be unpacking interesting facts and stats that you can look forward to at the final showdown this Sunday at the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 final as France takes on Croatia in a historic fixture on the quest to be crowned champions of the world. And of course for Jobbingers, I'll be sharing information to the venues. You can go catch all the action near you. Now, this World Cup will go down on the history books as one of the most unpredictable tournaments as the big teams did not step up to the plate, concluding into global movement that there is no underdog, birthing a new wave of hope and equality on the standard of football. Croatia is appearing in its first ever World Cup final. Croatia defeated England 2-1 yesterday thanks to Mario Mandzukic's winning goal in the extra time. That hasn't been the only drama for Croatia, which won its first two World Cup knockout stage games against Denmark and Russia on penalty kicks. Croatia opened a 62-1 World Cup odds to win the entire tournament. Entering the semi-finals, it was still the underdog at a 4-2-1 odd. Meanwhile, France is appearing in its third World Cup final since 1998. And the 2018 World Cup final will be the sixth meeting between France and Croatia. Las Blas have won three of the previous five matches, while the other two games ended in a draw. France has not allowed a goal during the knockout stage, which is quite impressively, which talks about their defense strength. And of course, the strength of both sides is in the force and flair of the midfield fields and flanks. Where stars like France and Golo Kante, Kellen Mbappe and Croatia's Luka Modric and Ivan Rakitic have put their stamp to authority on the specific World Cup. There's not much recent history between the two teams on the international stage as France and Croatia have only met once this decade in a 2011 friendly. But players on both sides will be familiar with each other from club football, especially in Spain. The three La Liga powerhouses, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid feature key men from both countries. Who will be crowned the champions this Sunday? Well, the good thing is that from a South African perspective, you can visit the following fan parks in Joburg. Catch all the action live on the big screen at Millrose Arch, more than soccer fan zone. Plus, there will be entertainment, live bands and food with refreshing drinks available to ensure the best soccer viewing experience possible. Second on the list, we've got the Mall of Africa with their World Cup Soccer Fan Park in Waterfall Park. Heaters will be available and fans are encouraged to bring blankets and camp chairs. And of course, the Sentin Soccer Village is also an option for football lovers, a family-friendly outdoor area with awesome live music. And we went to the streets of Brown to find out which country they'll be rooting for for the finals. Uh, this one, I'm planning to give it to Croatia. Why? Because uh, they came into this tournament as underdogs. However, people are forgetting that they have quite good stars. I mean, I can just mention two of those. In fact, there's three. I just don't know the third one's name, but two of them work, uh, play for the, one of the biggest leagues in the world, the Spanish league. And I'm referring to Ivan Rakitic, who plays for Barcelona, and Luka Modric, the captain, who plays for Real Madrid. So with their inspiration, with their hard work, where they get from the leagues they play from, I think they are the right people to inspire their team to finally get in their first ever World Cup in their entire lives because this is the first time they've ever reached the finals since it's been Croatia. So um, having them win it would also inspire other countries to know that it can be done because normally we're always focusing on your countries like Brazil, your France, your Argentinas, but now we have an opportunity to have a very uh, exciting final because uh, we don't know where it can go when you see Yuri people these guys are playing with hard more than them being just big names so i'm going with croatia my friend i think france will win it uh, france have a, a team a, a tough team yeah they have uh, pogba pogba is doing a good job there in the middle and they have bambi bambi they, i think they're going to win it they are tough i personally think uh, france will take it because um the defenders are very fast and strong if I may say that. Yeah, so I think France will take it. Uh, this far, uh, it's been difficult. It's been unpredictable. Teams that uh, were not expected to be on this final, they are there right now. Like, it's been a wow. Like, we've been surprised for this uh, World Cup. Join the conversation on our social media platforms and share your predictions. I personally will be going for Africa 11. That's France, of course. We out.